Hello Basic Army and welcome back to another Gallup Race episode. In the last one we absolutely had a huge, huge episode. Um, Eyes of Leah, we found out that she's super fast and she's absolutely smashing it this year with two group ones already so far. We're able to win another couple of group ones with our boy Crimson Prince and he won his first international group one and a few good performances from our other horses as well. So. Definitely a episode to go watch if you have missed it, but got another task to sort of focus on here with Rare Emerald in the Golden Derby. Um, we are meant to win this race, but it is a little bit tired, so we're just going to make sure that we save as much stamina as we can in the run and get him home when we sort of can. Here we go. Not a perfect start, but hopefully we can just settle in in a really comfortable position. This would definitely do the job, that is for sure. Actually a bit too far forward. It's there to be a front runner to try and contest, but it doesn't look like there is anyone. <laughs> Always the way. He's a lot better. I mean, he should run away with this pretty easily. He's a super strong horse, and he has the stats to do that. But you never know when a horse is tired. Sometimes they just don't try. But after this, you'll have a um, month or two layoff, you know, a bit of a break, just because we don't want to run our horses into the ground. They get a seven though, so five, so good. Hopefully, everyone's been having a lovely day or week wherever they're at, and with whatever they've been up to. I've been enjoying my weekend so far. I really haven't done much. Went to the beach yesterday and took a puppy out to meet my mum's. Dog. She was a little bit timid at meeting the puppy at first, but she warmed up towards the end, which was great. And the revolution after life coming later. And we're just going to use reins if we use anything at all. Yeah, we're just going to let him go. No real reason to whip him or let him do anything. He can just run this race out by himself. Very strong horse. And we'll chuck in a celebration. A little bit cocky, but... You love to see it. <laughs> Bang. Rare Emerald. Golden Derby. So we have two horses that are won two legs of their triple crowns. Well, we know that um, Leah will be in a really good position to win hers. And we got a horse title. All rounder. Nice. And we've got a couple of races here, just double checking. Nothing really taking my mind. Not like taking my fancy, I should say. Did peak at 80, so he's still going up. It's really exciting. I'm just trying to get through the sales, and if we don't have to race in these races, we probably won't. Look at that. I mean, I don't really want to ride on him, I just wanted to see if I was good enough. I finally am. But no. There's no real reason to acquire them. We've got other horses for those categories now. Just a little bit too late, Silver. Fairy Show back up. We also have Spinning Post in the Caesar Cup, just trying her on the dirt, changing it up a bit, you know. And then we've got one more week until the sales. Running Smile. These two horses finally meet.
We have a longer shot in this market, so it must be a stronger field. Running smell is going to be a favourite. But I feel like we're going to put in a little bit of an um, outside move, you know? We held, the, we held the record on this truck anyway, so. Bang, perfect style, let's go. Let the 14 take the lead. I uh, don't see how we get beat from here. I do not see a single way that is humanly possible that we lose here. I'm going to take a bite of my chocolate, kick back, and we just enjoy this race. We're kicking back eating some Smarties chocolate. Definitely a good block of chocolate, that's for sure. Gonna get, gonna get Fairy Show going here. Good run off the corner. And that's a revolution, that's the race over and done with. They're not catching us now, we're out in front. Won't need the whip, no need to. It's just so easy to ride. Revolution after revolution. I mean, it's not as blowout type as the rest of the races has been in the last couple of starts, but still a win. He just makes it look so easy, you know? Still three lengths and we didn't even touch the whip. Like, Now we have spinning post. About the third pick. Odds aren't terrible either. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we can bounce back after the Singapore. Like that was still a huge performance. So I can't really say bounce back, but get back in the winner's circle would be an easy way to say it. And that's the perfect start we needed. Finally got one with spinning post. It's been a few starts. I was worried that that was Crimson Prince there for a second. I was like, wait, no, I booked him for a race. No, it's Crimson World. I mean, we're in a really good position if this 10 leaves us alone, but I don't think he's got any intention of doing that, and I don't want this to be a pack. Grab hold, don't be ridiculous. You're gonna run second if you stay on my tail. There we go. Still a long shot in the field, but just leave me alone. Really no need for you to react like that, you know. I'm just trying to go down the back straight without any other contender. Sorry, a little bit of my Irish side coming out. On my mother's side, I have Irish bloodlines that lead back to that side of my family, so it's pretty cool. Explains why I have like a ginger beard when it grows out properly. It's really annoying too because it's so vibrant in summer. I like it, don't get me wrong. But... We're gonna go now. I mean, I feel like the other horses must have ruined our chances here because there is no reason why we should be dropping out like this. That's ridiculous. We've literally raced like that in every other race. We still finished third, so not a super bad performance there. But, our spurt was what let us down apparently. I disagree with that entirely. But it was perfect. We waited for the last corner leader, we kick, and then we just bowled away. It's how you run it on any front runner. You find the front, you do highly any work, and then you sprint away from them late. That's alright. Uh, where Emerald? No, you can have some time off. You know what? You can actually run in the Diamond Cup. Yeah, why not? 
that will do us. So we can go through to the sails. The railroad on top. And then railroad on top. Wonderwell on top. Wonderwell on top. So pretty much two horses in each category. Ooh. Sure. First Dream Cup. Yeah, we've read all that before. Well, I personally have. Pretty much it just says that once every um, four years you pick a horse for the race and then you go from there. Uh, we go Tenderbelly. I mean, we could have gone Wild Weapon, but I feel like the distance would have been a little bit annoying. Happy Plane. As you can tell, she's a freak. Pretty much, you see any of these horses in your shop, just get them. There's no reason not to. <laughs> They're all very strong horses. How often do you see purple stats like that? This is a hard race, but we'll see how we go. Oh, Tender Valley holds the record, so. No reason why we can't win this. Perfect start to boot. That horse comes out like a rocket. Fair bit of pace on up here. And we're giving them a run for their money. Here comes the rest of the field though. They're still in front with half a furlong left. We're gonna win! <laughs> Let's go! That pace on that corner was insane. But we won. Let's go. So this is the um, Dream Cup, and the other one's the Dream World Series. So in the, the difference is in the Dream World Series, you race against specific horses that um, Umura has, and you unlock them. Where if you win every one of these races, right, as soon as you lose, you well, that's it. But if you can win them all, you unlock. Um, and I didn't read that, and it's a turf race for fillies, so we've got a dirt horse in a filly. Uh, we're not winning this race, yep. So pretty much, long story short, um, if you can win all these races back to back to back to back to back, you unlock Happy, happy Plane. The horses are on the track. But I don't think we'll be doing that here today. Pretty much can run everywhere too. What a freak of a horse, you know. We'll unlock her one day. I mean, tell me I got a seven. Someone you overrun, I don't even need to go. Definitely notice that these courses are a lot harder to control your horses. So it's a higher difficulty. You can definitely feel it. Like I'm not even on a super hill here and I'm tapping constantly to try and keep her at a steady pace. As you guys can probably see by my orange meter constantly being backed off and we know that this horse is very strong at her response time, so. I mean, we're gonna just wait for as long as possible. And then we're gonna go. I mean, we're still out in front. For how long? Probably not too long because we're a dirt horse in a turf field, but that's fine. I mean,. I 
had the best ride by those jockeys. Why would you follow up a horse? Like, if you're making up that much ground, you just don't ride like that. But, Kim's crown. Gets to win, and we lose. But no harm done, because we knew that was going to happen. And he'll come in and say, yeah, there you go, now you see how hard it is to win the stages. And Parks gives us another horse. Who to give a split effort? Strong heart from outside bears, and then three, so he has three bad abilities. Holy sugar honey iced tea. We have a lot of horses to have a look at. Obvious gum, hey. I'm good enough for her, let's go. So she's a steal. Let's have a look at all these other horses. Loser and Spurt. Interesting. Show's an amazing broodmare. We're gonna have a lot of horses. <laughs> I don't think we can take any more of these other ones. Righty up, we jump over here. Precocious scene. Delicate, no way, not touching you with a 40 foot pole. Slow track, not good, not touching you with a 40 foot pole. Stable chime, no thank you. And perfect minister. Slow track, not good as well, but you are a grey. You know what, we're not going to worry about it. Riviera. I heard that this horse can be pretty good for breeding. Maybe you should try her for breeding. I've never tried her before. Rough bird. I mean, normally the fillies and whatnot that you get challenged for are the better ones. Let me just check one of my breeding lines that I found the other day. It's a really um, good match. Is it rough? It's scotch bird. No, so it's not rough bird. So we don't need rough bird then. But flaring bridge, spurt and big race. Okay, what have you got? Last corner, come back and impulse. Okay, and hmm, we'll, we'll, have, we'll request for these two. Let's see, oh, seventy positioning. Okay. Casual lies. <laughs> and then just a casual 80. These horses are cracked. So both of our new horses are absolutely insane. How many horses do we have? So we picked up one, two, three, four, five new ones. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 15 horses. <laughs> Um, we're gonna get you just because I want to try you out and you look pretty so if that's not a reason to buy a horse then I don't know what is okay so looking at the horses you've got enough we're gonna be very busy from here on out that's for sure but you know what we could probably get ready to retire you soon you're on the decline fairy show you won't race for a while we're just gonna go through and actually book all of our horses so we don't get mixed up yep
Yeah, not bad so far. Seven Groupons. Put you back in the Chicago's. I mean, you got to 75, so that's pretty good. 6 to 11. Just the stamina. It's for you, my friend. You are looking very... All positive abilities too. Spurt and stretch burst. That's pretty cool. Um, are you booked? Yep. You're racing this week, actually. You're booked. Um, you're a dirt horse. You're gonna be crum like crabby wherever I race you, so. 89, can she get to 90? I feel like she can. But I'm not really sure about this horse. Like, Strong Heart could be nice. So there we go. And we'll book the rest of these later on down the line, but. Let's just see how we go with this race to start off with. I just can't believe we got that many horses. You pretty much have to get Obvious Gourmet because she's a huge um, impacting dirt mare. And then you've got to get Big Show because she crosses, if you can cross her with um, Wonder Whale. God, that's a fast mix. And we're the favourite here today in the Tokyo Derby. Not really expecting any less, if I'm being honest. It's a beautiful night. Funnily enough, if I can get Scotch Bird and cross Scotch Bird with a funny attire, and then breed that far with obvious goal May, that line throws um, a special ability called um, in Indomitable Spirit, which is a special ability. So hopefully we can get that, like those other horses, and breed that line. Personally, never tried Flaring Bridge, but she looks interesting. And the name sort of hits me for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Let me quick to see if I can see why. Maybe Facebook? Five furlongs to go. Seeing if I can remember. Okay, this is where the race is won. Um. Time to go. And they're in the home stretch. Good little run on. I think Hawk is sort of sticking with us here though. There we go. I don't know where I got the name from. Not from that horse, but that's fine, we'll work it out. I'm just thinking about it, all the horses we have left to race. Um, let's have a look who's in this field. Okay, you know what, we're going to do it anyway, we've got nothing to lose here. Where is she? She's so hard to find. I'm going to race her in the um, six furlongs. And if she puts in a good performance, she does. If she doesn't, then we try it. I think that's a really good idea. It's going to be a very busy year going forward. We are very good odds here, especially for a, a very speedy field. 
I've no wonder you're the favorite. Inside attack. Not really going to matter when we're on a short course, but that's fine. The horses are on the track. Play track. Let's see how we go. Good start. Very good start. What we need. Straight into position too. They're going to try and have a little bit of a speed, but up front hopefully that suits us a little bit more than it suits them. We can get a revolution here. It puts us in a really good stride to win this race. That'd be amazing. No seven for that? You're joking. Time to go. She's showing a little bit, but not super. In saying that, she's trying to chase down 99 speed horses, so. One's just gone and left the rest of us. I mean, not a bad performance, I guess. It was the first international Cup World Series event, but. We met our like we met our odds, I guess, so not too bad. Definitely a hard year to win the uh, spring category, that's for sure. But we do have rebirth up in the Marines, and that's it. We'll just jump straight into that one. Hopefully we can retire him soon. Here we go. I mean, no reason why we can't win this, let's be honest. And uh, no perfect start, so... Got a little bit of work to do to get to the front. Now you gotta cross in front of this eight horse. It's taking forever to do, like to get it across as well. No seven, but that's to be expected. Still managed to cap on the sum, not even though we're a fair way out in front. Oh, and now we're dropping like flies. We've got no stamina left. This is a drop out race. Because the eight, look at that. Both of the front runners are gone. It, Probably gonna lose rebirth at this point. It's two bad races in a row with him, for sure. Not good at all. Right. Didn't lose him, but. We have a heap of races this week as well. You know what? We're gonna just put our two. What have we got? Turf, turf. We're just gonna race on both this week and see how we go. And this will be the last racing week of the episode. So we have casualized and monsoon season. This is a very busy week. 
Oh well. Um, no. <laughs> Daisy Chain does not need any competition. She is her own competition. <laughs> okay, so we're not... I mean, okay, so let's have a little Grave Parade. Most Grave Parade and Throne so far. Crimson Prince. Okay. Maybe a trailer. Good breaking. Uh, we're not going to get over here, are we? I mean, we're seven, so I just assume that this horse would be the same as Crimson Prince. Not much stamina for easy traffic for that's for sure. No revolution. Crit activated. I mean, we are still fighting, but. And we're just over whipped. It's my fault. Did we run out of money? No, we did not. So. Not the result we were sort of looking for there. We thought maybe we might be onto something. So start, feel, positioning, head to head, quick position. Okay, I'm not quite sure what the revolution was lost for. And casual lies is the favourite. Okay. No, he's better than a horse for 74 speed. Okay. Good gate manners. Good breaking as well, that's an issue. <laughs> Yet again, why does everyone want to run? Five and seven, nine, eight, eleven wide when we don't have to. Revolution also has grit, which is lovely. We are in from, and we're gonna win this race. So, on debut, Casual Eyes is gonna get his first win. And I'm not too worried about Monsoon Season because that could just be the growth type, and the race not suiting. So, we'll find out more as we look at their stats after this, see what we unlocked if we unlocked anything at all. Wow, that's a nice win. Good to get one on debut. So positioning was off, but everything else was good. We got head-to-head -head start at best speed, and we did get course loss though. So that could also affect our revolution chances. He's not a complete low shot. So let's have a look. I mean, okay. We still don't even know where he likes to run. Never mind, we did figure that out. Cool. I mean, we're pretty much just looking for over on to you. I'm not expecting much out of Daisy Chain at all. We're pretty much just raced her once and it's just to sort of see how she would go. And that was in the uh, sunrise on her debut. Look at that stamina. You can't beat it. Insane stats. 
I'm gonna get a revolution with Daisy Chain. Go, you good thing. Get your first win. We're gonna lay on the weapon. Hopefully, we can get it. Last corner later. That's a nice ability to have, though. Let's go. I mean, I don't see us getting beat from here. Daisy Chain's gonna get a first win. <laughs> nice. Let's go, you good thing. Good work, Daisy Chain. I didn't expect to win that race, but we did, so that's awesome. Pretty big win too. We got best speed, fast bird, and all that good stuff, so hopefully we unlock some more first jumps as well. Uh, top three. Yeah, fair enough. We still don't know if she can win on turf, I doubt it. But we might have to try that before we um, send it a, a barn. Style is cool. Oh, yeah, that reminds me to check the results of one of the races from today. Let me have a quick look through the field. Um. Here we go. Okay, this is that race had definitely a um interesting start to it. Revolution. Time to lay on the whip. Fine runners out in front of us. Can we get that stretch first? No. We only run second. I don't think this horse has a stretch burst now that I think about it. No. Um, it has spurt. Let's see. But second place finish, nonetheless, is also acceptable. And Rare Emerald. So we have the fourth pick in the market. A little bit of a more difficult task here today for him. But he's been performing really well for us. So hopefully he can prove us strong. The horses are on the track. Hoping for a good start. Pretty much the start determines how good you can go half the time. And like, I don't know how I feel about that sometimes. Because sometimes it's like, oh no, I've got a shit start. I can't win this race. It shouldn't be like that. But then you get a perfect start. Like, oh yeah, cool. We're in for a good race. At this one, for example, got a perfect start because we're going down a hill, which happens to be the worst hill in the game. Hashtag flat track matters. We finally able to relax. That took forever. Finally relaxing. Doesn't want to go too slow. Well, that's not my problem, but. Five furlongs to go. I don't think we're going to max stamina. I just have a feeling that we're not going to. 
So if we can get that last corner lead, I feel like we're in a really good chance to win this race, but look at the time, everything perfect. Got discouraged on that corner. Not a good sign. Favourite is out in front. We are starting to fight back now on the inside, but is it too little too late? Come on. We're going to run a second. Not a bad result. Beat our odds. Yeah. Got to be happy with that. He'll win the next one. Can't win them all. And overall, not a very bad week. We finally maxed out. We're 99 overall, so we can get any horse we want. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that blind. <laughs> Here was the shot. Can I have a horse with me? Okay, so no, that's a good thing. So, casual lies is 9 to unknown on the turf, faster growth type, slow track okay and grit. The monsoon season is a 10 furlong horse with not very much speed. Okay. The more you know. Nice for daisy chain, 40 stamina, not much speed. Dominator. <laughs> I was going to lead it in South Pole. Okay. That's going to do it for that episode. Um, we were able to get a fair amount of horses and get a lot of progress made. But these, these episodes are going to get longer and longer because we're going to have to do a lot more races in each episode with the amount of horses we have currently. So, as always, hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out and have a good night. Bye.